Well, today we're going to introduce you to Keystrack's all-new H4 Cone Crusher. So what Keystrack has done here is um, they've basically combined three machines into a single unit. It's got an independent pre-screen to pre-scalp out any of the fines. Then it's got a, a cone crusher and then a triple deck after screen, bringing everything into one compact, high performance and very, very productive package. The cone that we're looking at right now has been developed with the world's leading manufacturer of hydro cone technology. As you can see, it's mounted on rubber isolating mounts. And one of the things that's unique to this cone is how they've mounted the, the electric motor that drives the cone is on the same platform as the cone. So as the cone is, is vibrating on the rubber mounts, the motor that's powering it is moving in conjunction with it. So it takes a lot of the stress off the drive belts. What we're looking at here is part of the main frame of the cone chassis. Now what Keystrack has done is they use a very high performance suite of steel called Domex 700. Now this steel is two and a half times stronger than standard structural steel, which means that they can use less steel lowering the overall weight of the machines to ensure that the machines are still transportable yet without sacrificing any rigidity or strength. The H4 is a completely hybrid cone crusher. And what that means is that it's got a Volvo Penta generator and everything is powered by electric motors, which makes this machine incredibly fuel efficient. Now this machine consumes about 30 liters an hour of diesel. Now if you look at standard diesel hydraulic cone crusher and then you had a diesel hydraulic screener, and a pre-screen, you'd probably be consuming between 60 and 80 liters of fuel per hour. But with the technology that Keystrax brought us here in this uh, compact package, that's cut that fuel consumption down to 30 liters an hour, which is a massive reduction. What we're looking at right now is inside the electrical control panel. As you can see, everything is, is isolated and mounted separately. And if we're looking at, people ask me what this what this is and what that is it actually is pumping air into the panel when the machine's running which keeps it pressurized which prevents dust from going in so even after several thousand hours in the field you open this panel up it looks like it's brand new it keeps dust and moisture and contamination out of the electrical components so this is on rubber isolation mounts which minimizes the vibration going to the control panel which helps increase the lifespan of the components. The other thing that uh, Keystrack has done here is they've installed a Webasto heating system. And what this does is we can program this to say, come on at four in the morning or five in the morning, one to two hours before the shift starts. And then it warms up all the fluids in the machine. So that means when you come to start it, the whole machine is warmed up, ready to go. And this can actually, in fact, in some cases double the life expectancy of the engine so it's a, it's a really um, smart thing to do especially in, a, in our cold Canadian climate um, very important to have this on your machine as you can see we've got a large very visual display touch screen capabilities um, you can see all the different areas of the machine everything's easy to adjust we even have an onboard camera system which allows us to from the ground level look at what's going on inside the cone. As with all of Keystrack's technology, they use this very simple system. We hit the auto button and the entire machine starts up in sequence the way it should. And then the same when you go to shut the machine down, all you have to do is hit auto. So it's a very user-friendly machine that any operator with some basic training can get comfortable around and confident using this machinery. All right, what we're looking at here is the independent pre-screen. Now, there's not many cone crushers. In fact, I don't know of any that have the same setup as, as Keystrack has here. So it basically takes your feed from the jaw and then it dumps it onto this pre-screen. And by the time the rock gets down to the cone, 90% of all the fines, like your bottom and your sand, has already been sifted out. So you're only crushing what you need to crush. So it saves a lot of wear on the cone. And as we all know, cone crushers don't like a feed that has excess fines content in it. So we can either run this fines content out on a side dirt conveyor or we can have everything join the main conveyor out onto the triple deck after screen. 
So right now what we're looking at is a Volvo Penta diesel generator. What it does is this generates electricity to power all the electric motors on the machine. Now in cases where we have sufficient power on site, we don't even have to run this engine. We can run a cable from the grid and power this machine 100% from the grid power. And this engine just is here as a backup. This engine generator combination also gives us enough reserve power that we can plug in another electric screener and maybe two more electric stacking conveyors from this cone crusher. So it's a really innovative system that Keystrack has come out with, which is just providing phenomenal fuel savings and incredible reliability as well. Right now I'm standing in front of the triple deck screen box. It's a five by 12 triple deck and we're in the maintenance position. So the screen deck drops down and as you can see the underscreen conveyor also drops down, which gives us incredible access underneath the screen and also on top. The screens are all end tensioned, which means per deck we could change a deck of screens in and out in about 30 minutes. Very easy to access, very easy to change. So if you're if you're a producer that's say jumping between multiple different products that you want to produce, um, obviously downtime in between screen changes is important to look at. So with the modern hydrocone technology that Keys Track uses. Um, in the past, cone crushers would produce a very slabby, flaky product. As you can see in this, uh, the product is actually very, very cubical and suitable for use in asphalt, aggregate, and concrete applications. So with this triple deck, we're producing three different finished fractions of product with the one machine. Right now we're looking at the fuel tank, again mounted on isolation mounts to keep the vibration in check and then as with all the keys track fuel tanks hydraulic or fuel they mount a, a breather cap with a replaceable filter cartridge in there just to maximize the protection against the elements so what we're looking at here on this side of the cone is a, a mini fan you can see it's got the pre-filter on there to filter the air and then what it does it pumps air down inside the cone pressurizes the inner part of the cone to keep the dust so it's always pressurized inside, pushing the dust out, and it keeps the inner parts of the bearings clean, free of contamination, which lengthens the uh, lifespan of your, your components inside the cone crusher. So one of the things you'll notice about all, everything on the keys tracks is the fit and finish of the quality. Everything on the keys track is not painted. Uh, it goes through a special sandblasting process, and then it goes through an anti-corrosion agent is applied to all the metal. After that, each component is then gone into the powder coating room. So everything that we're looking at on this machine has been powder coated, which means the fit and finish is going to last for many years. You also notice where hydraulic lines are used. They use the steel hydraulic lines. Obviously on this particular plant being electric, there's not a lot of hydraulic lines to look at on here. But in Keystrack really does live up to their motto, which is performance in every detail. So when you start looking at all these little details that come together, they really create a very high performance machine, which is why Keystrack is setting the bar in many areas in the industry.